we will put on the table when we come to when we come to Arusha. What is their interest? Let's pray. Almighty God, who in your wisdom and goodness has appointed the, the offices of leaders and parliament for the welfare of society, good of all human lives upon it, and the just government of its people, we beseech you to look with your abundant favor upon us, your servants, whom you have entrusted with the performance of important trust in this community. Let your blessings descend upon us here assembled, and the grant that we may treat and consider all matters that shall come under our attention and deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to promote your honor and glory and to advance the peace, prosperity, and welfare of this region and of those whose interests you have committed to us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Honorable Kim, we are based in Arusha. So. Okay. Can we start? Item number one on the order paper, communication from the chair. Honorable members, good afternoon, everyone. It has been good afternoon. It has been a while since we're together in Nairobi in March for that plenary. And um uh, When we when we we adjourned that plenary, we had to go to Geneva, where we had that IPU meeting, the parliamentary uni union. We had been there for uh, three days, five days, and we could meet with the president of IPU, Honorable Dr. Tulia, and we discussed with her the IP, IPG games because it is Kenya which is sharing our games after South Sudan. We had a very good meeting with the Speaker of Bahrain. And uh, Honorable Shabal, who have been in Bahrain for a while, and who speaks the language was with me, and we engaged on some matters. And I think that uh, Honorable Shabal will make a follow up. I found that he was friendly to the speaker and to all the delegation. We can expect maybe a good fruit in the future. After Geneva, I went to Bura. I had to open a meeting of senior parliamentary officials from EAC partner states. They were clerks, deputy clerks, and others officers. And um,
And then we had also to, to support our ELA members. Last Saturday, we had been invited by Honorable Dr. Shogo. And um, we went to support her with her foundation, which is called Fungua Trust. And um, the last week, the last days, have been very, very busy for budget stakeholders. Budget, it has been discussed by the Council of Ministers and stakeholders. The FNA had met, the senior had met, the PS they had met, and they finally, the Honorable Ministers would meet last week on or is it on Thursday? And then um, yesterday, late in the afternoon, we received a communication from the Secretariat. We received the budget. And I decided, I decided to to immediately to proceed on it so that the GP and the other stakeholders would get enough time to work on it and scrutinize it. That's why this morning I have I have to recognize that uh, the clerks have in the city. I have. He had to work hard yesterday. They left the offices. It was about midnight because we had, I had directed them to, to inform the members before they, they, they went home. And they did it. And uh, thank you for that. I know they work hard. So, honorable members, you know we have been, Yala has been facing challenges in terms of finances and uh, others' issues. You know that we, in Yala, Our program, because of some partner states have been remitting on time, the other programs have been affected. Our committee meetings have been affected. And um, the other members and the staff we have been, our salaries have been delayed. And the uh, Yala members and staff, you know, our gratuities have been have not have been haven't paid them since last year, June or July. Clark, remind me. From June last year, we, we couldn't pay our gratuities. And uh, members and staff. We still, some, we still have some areas in our places. All of these things are affecting us. I, I could discuss these matters with um, stakeholders. And then that's why I had to to fly to Juba to meet with the chair of Council of Ministers, the Honorable Minister who is with us, 
and I address these issues. And I have to recognize that uh, he has been, he has welcomed this positively and uh, he had promised to, to, to raise these issues with his counterparts. And uh, it was a very good meeting. We could see the fruits when they were defending our budget. And I have to recognize that and to be thankful to him and that the other will be working closely with Council of Ministers so that this community could make more progresses. And of course, members have been affected by these challenges, maybe personally or don't know. But uh, even if we are facing hard times, I wish to remind honorable members that uh, it could not be, it could not allow anyone to address or to engage, to engage with others with a toxic language, a toxic communication. Some members we have been addressing others like activists. Some members have been dis dis disrespectful. Some members have been showing that we are angry, honorable members. We should, you should avoid this way of communicating, especially for the chair of committees and the commissioners who are leading this parliament. <laughs> for me, I I will be always available. And you know that my phone has been always open I messages have been sent to me from members have been responding, honorable members. Anytime you are confused, you don't see clear, you have my contacts. My my office always open, and uh, the clerk's office is always there. When you don't have clarification on on some issues, instead of engaging in confusion, something like that, please call me or call the clerk or write to me or address, you can address him to me in, officially. You know how to proceed. It could help everyone to, to engage on issues that maybe he knows some more information on that. With this, honorable members, this is, these are the communications I had to share with you. For me, I'm there to unite, I'm there to inspire friendship and love, among the members, and as I said before, I fight so that this art should remain united. Should remain, as I said, we are one team, we are one family, and we'll be always together, sharing what we have. For the interest and benefit of our parliament for the community. 
This is what I had to share with you. Item number two on the order paper, laying of papers, Roman one and Roman two, the supplementary budget for financial year 2023-2024, and the ESC draft estimates for the financial year 2024-2025. Honorable Chair, Honorable Chairperson of the Council of Ministers, lay the papers. Um. <clears throat> You have the floor. He has muted. You are muted. Honorable Minister, now it comes. You are muted now. Yeah, you are. I was, I was, giving you the floor to lay the papers. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, right, honorable uh, speaker and members. Uh, the draft budget estimates the ESC for the financial year 2024-2025, covering all ESC organs and institutions were considered and approved by the ESC Council of Ministers on the 25th April 2024. A total of US uh, USD 112,984,400 million was adopted to cover the following. The ESC Secretariat, 51 million USD, 677, 120. The ESC uh, African Court of Justice, 4 million USD, 847 and 53. The East African Legislative Assembly, 20 million USD, 438, 996. The Lake Victoria Basin Commission, 700 million USD, 787 and 618. The Inter-University Inter 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 Council of, Inter University Council of East Africa, 17 USD, 17 million USD, 287 and 618. The Victoria Fisheries Organization, 3 million USD, 109, 586. East African Science and Technology Commission, 2 million USD, 177, 192. East African Kiswahili Commission, 1 million USD, 641. 44 and 44 and 44 and, and, and five. East African Health Research Commission, 
two two million USD, four hundred and fifty one, one hundred and fifty seven. Is African Competition Authority one million USD five hundred and twenty five two hundred and twelve total one hundred and twelve million USD nine hundred and and eighty four four hundred and forty two. I therefore Pursuant, pursuant to Articles 49.2 and B, 132 of the ESC Treaty and Section 4, one of the East African Budget Act, recommend the draft budget to the assembly for consideration. In the same vein, the Council of Ministers approved a supplementary budget for the ESC organs and institutions for the financial year 2024-2025 amounting to, eight, to 11 million uh, USD. 148, 996, which I recommend to, to the assembly. I'm therefore tabling the following. One, the ESC draft budget for financial year 2024-2025 and the appropriation bill. Two, the, AS, the ESC supplementary budget for financial year 2024, 2023, 2024, and the supplementary budget appropriation bill. Number three, the respective financial institutions. Four, the, uh, the, the forwarding letters of 19th April 2024. So the speaker, sir, I beg to be on table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Procilla, you. Mr. Speaker, Procilla. Yes, Honorable Makami. Makami. Mr. Speaker, for the purpose of record, the supplementary should come first before the budget because the supplementary is for this year, the budget is for next. We don't, uh, we don't uh, want the Honorable Minister to redo it, but for the purpose of record, supplementary precedes the budget because we have to finish what is left for this particular year before we proceed to the one of the year that will follow. Thank you. This is, this is not a consideration of the bill. It's just only for laying. That's yes, Mr. Speaker. Yes, but uh, that's... Yes. that's that should be the way it has to be. Yes, this is for laying only. And uh, with that, I have to, to refer to the committee on GP for to scrutinize this proposed this proposed budget and uh, also to the assembly. I invite and uh, I urge the chairperson of the Council of Ministers, because in the past we have been sometimes facing challenges with the, the participation. I urge the chairperson of the Council, and I also urge the Secretary General, we hope that he will take off very soon so that the, the budget could not get affected. And uh, I also add the other ministers and all the stakeholders to actively participate in the process and to give us, to give the assembly the maximum support so that 
we could move smoothly in passing in this budget. With this, honorable members, I adjourn this house synodai. Hi. Hi.